Hey y'all, what up? It's Corey, real estate guy. And today I'm gonna to give you another simple mortgage calculation for you to identify, hey, this I'm, I'm ready to buy. Uh, this is what I have in terms of my debt plus what I want to pay for my mortgage, uh, my ensuing mortgage, all right? So it's called your back-end ratio. Yesterday we learned about front-end ratio, which is your PITI over your gross monthly income. Today, uh, we're gonna see something very similar with one added addition. We're gonna add your debt in there and it's gonna add a higher percentage given the loan type, but let's dive right into it, all right? So back-end ratio, what it consists of, right? It consists of, again, your PITI, which is your principal interest taxes and insurance, that mortgage payment that you're looking to pay for. And for the sake of time, uh, we're just gonna revert back to the same amount that we used yesterday in our example, $1,500 a month uh, is what you're able to pay. It covers everything. But your back-end ratio covers your debts. And what the loan officers or the lenders, the mortgage, com uh, mortgage companies are looking for is anything that is over 10 months, they consider long-term debt. All right, anything that you have to pay after 10 months, long-term debt, all right? Student loans, uh, uh, car note, personal loans, uh, any type of installment loan, uh, credit cards. Now, credit card is not necessarily something that you pay as a long-term debt and you'll pay it off. You'll keep paying it as long as you keep charging, right? So wherever what your minimum payment is every month, that's also considered one of your debts that you pay and it's factored into this equation, all right? alimony as well so if you have to pay alimony uh that's also something if you're going to be paying in more than 10 months then it's also factored in revolving debt is your credit cards all right this is one that impacts you a lot especially if your utilization is high i've had trouble with that myself so <clears throat> example here's an example here's a person their card note is 500 dollars. the student loan that they have to pay this is the minimum payment now they're going to do everything off minimum amount that you have to pay the minimum payment for your student loan is 150. The personal loan is 150. Uh, your credit card is 100 dollars To make sure you're meeting that deadline or you're meeting that uh, qualification to be, you know, uh, in the positive of paying your credit card on time. Your PITI, what I told you earlier, we're gonna stay at 50, 1500. Your gross monthly income has changed. Yesterday we used 5500. Today we're using 6,000. All right. So let me give you the formula. All right. PITI, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance plus all of your long-term debt payments, all over how much you bring home gross monthly income every single month gross before taxes gives you your back-end percentage. Now, again, we're gonna use conventional lending. Conventional lending allows 36% back-end debt, right? Or your ratio. Yesterday we were talking in the 20s. Uh, here, uh, it is 36, right? This is conventional lending. And I put down here as a disclaimer, Limits vary based on loan type, VA, FHA, USDA, conventional, and so forth. And every lender has different guidelines, so understand that. Back to our example. In this situation, I'm already marking this. So if I have all of these debts, one, two, three, four, it comes out to a total of $900. $900 is what you pay out every single month, no matter what, all right? You add that plus the $1,500, your PITI, right here, uh, plus your debts, your long-term debt, gives me a total of $2,400 a month. That's what I pay out. That's all my debt every single month. I make $6,000 before any uh, taxes is taken out. So I divide the two. That gives me 40% back end ratio. That boots me out of the conventional lending file. You know, I'm not able to get it. Now, <clears throat> to make things easier, right? That's calculating all your debts. To make it easier, how you can just do it without using the formula Say for instance, go up here. Say for instance, you know what the back end ratio is of the loan type that you're trying to get, right? So you wanna say, hey, do I qualify right now or do I need to make some adjustments in my finances monthly to qualify? Take that percentage, conventional allows 36% in the back end, multiply that by how much you bring in total, right? You have income coming in from different places and you're trying to buy a house, it's best to put as much as you possibly can. Don't hide back from the bank it's best to put as much as you possibly can to get the house that you want, if you serious. All right, 36% times the gross monthly income, 6,000, gives you 2,160. This means this is how much debt is allowed for you to have monthly, that you're holding. So out of all your long-term debt, in this equation, 36%, if you make $6,000 a month, your, only, your maximum amount of debt that you can have is 2,160. So it's quarter real estate, I'm talking about back-end ratio, I hope I helped you. Simple math, do-it-yourself calculations. Quarter of a second, holler.